in this video I wanted to show you guys some useful function keys so uh, function keys are the keys on top of your keyboard if you see you have f1 f2 f3 all the way to f12 so these are called function keys and uh, they can be pretty useful um, uh, you know uh, especially uh, for any software that you use uh, quite a bit and even in chromium you know there there are some useful function keys that you can um, uh, benefit from so uh, the first useful function key is f1 so f1 is uh, help like in many softwares f1 is help and it's a it's it's a context related help so basically you know depending on uh, what uh, you need help in for example uh, let me click over here so this is the chromatogram pane I'm clicking and I want to know more about chromatogram pane I, I need some help in chromatogram pane so let me click F1 so as soon as I click F1 you know I get this chromatogram 7 help uh, pop-up and you know here you can see the um, you know help re related to the chromatogram pane you know how to view a chromatogram you can you know further go and uh, in each of these menus so uh, let me close this so similarly like in the last video I showed you something about uh, MS auto filters and you know if you didn't know anything about MS auto filters you could have just clicked F1 um, let me click okay there you go F1 and then you know you can read about what MS auto filters are right um, so uh, so, uh, so that's useful, you know, uh, whenever you're stuck or you, if you have doubts about something, you can always uh, click F1 and, you know, find out more, uh, you know. Okay, so um, the second useful key, uh, which I think is very useful and, and I use it a lot, is F2 key. So F2, I generally use it in the console, you know, uh, let me go to the console. Um, so in the console, uh, you know, many times... Uh, you know, I want to type in the name uh, of the, you know, uh, sample, right? Uh, the name of the injection. And many times, you know, if I... So, basically, you can do it with your mouse. You know, you can you can slowly click it and then, you know, you can start typing in. But many, uh, especially a new user, what he does is, you know, he'll, 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 uh, he'll, he'll type pretty fast. And uh, let me show you what happens. So, if you... If you uh, sorry, if you click very fast you know it opens up the studio so um, if you click pretty fast it opens up the studio so what I like to do is uh, press F2 I pressed F2 and you know then it gives you uh, uh, so what F2 basically does is it allows you to type into a cell you, know, you can so you can just rename this anything you want um, that's it so uh, and uh, you know F2 key is applicable anywhere you know where you have a need to type in and uh, this is you know kind of useful because uh, you know when I started using Chromium you know I would always uh, you know in click pretty fast and it, o and it used to open the studio and uh, you know I, I used to get confused what you know <laughs> because I wanted to type in the name so so if you if you click slowly you know <laughs> you can type in but uh, usually F2 works pretty well so I mean this is applicable for anywhere you want to type in uh, for example uh, let me go to the studio again uh, and I want to type in the, say I want to change the name of Maven Foss so I'll just type F2 and you can see the cursor you know, I can make any changes I want so uh, that's pretty useful um, the other um, useful key uh, like a very useful key especially if you have a lot of data uh, and you want to you know uh, go over various injections pretty quickly is the F4 key so what F4 key does so let me press F4 key can you see what happens so it goes injection to injection so for example I want to see you know how my injections have progressed so I can just uh, press F4 and I, and I can see how for example my Maven Foss for example let me show this okay so this is Maven Foss I've so what I'm looking at is uh, the component over here so for example uh, 4 8 so I want to see how 4 8 looks like or if 4 8 uh, is present in 
in my sample injections, right? So I click F4, 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 F4. So you can go, f you know, injection to injection. Um, and uh, the opposite of that, if you do Shift F4, Shift, I'm pressing Shift and F4, you can go from bottom to top. So this is Shift F4. Shift F4, Shift F4. So I, <clears throat> I find it pretty useful, you know. So sometimes you know, you have to, you know, drag your mouse and you know, press, keep on pressing over here, and you know that can be you know quite, um, uh, quite not irritating, but you know sometimes lab laborious, right? <laughs> um, but you know, pressing F4, F4 is pretty quick. So that's one. Uh, useful key but uh, let me warn you about something because uh, you know many times uh, I instead of putting shift F4 you know to go backwards uh, by mistake I did uh, control F4 and if you do control F4 basically control F4 closes the <laughs> studio so you have to be a bit careful so you know shift F4 is going in reverse but control F4 is closing the studio okay Okay. Uh, the other useful key is the ref is the refresh key. So that's F5. So so F5 is refresh. So did you see what it what happened? So I pressed F5, and it, and it refreshes, you know, uh, the chromatogram or basically like uh, refreshes the data. So this is useful uh, when you're um, when you're uh, when you have a sequence running, and uh, you know you want to look at real time data. Or you know you like and and you're looking at data in um, in real time and you know you want to, uh, to refresh uh, the data in studio. You know you can always um, press F5 and you know it'll and the latest data will pop up. So this is useful if you have something uh, running um, or you, uh, you have your sequence running.